This is my North London Derby review. First and first, shocking, absolutely disgusting performance. I'm disgraced that that team put out a performance like that on a day like that, in a time like that, in that stadium. Just not good enough. Absolutely disgraceful. Honestly, disgraceful. Just not good enough. Uh, a lot of these players need to be held accountable for their actions. So, I want to say Brennan Johnson, that Brennan Johnson, Brennan, what's he doing, you know? Brennan Johnson, what are you doing, man? We bought you for 47 million squid, you know? We bought you 47 million pounds, and that is the performance that you show in a North London derby. Not good enough. Just genuinely not good enough. Getting into the final third, you know, thinking, taking too long, you know. I want you to think, but I want you to think quick. Bang, 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 bang. Go, go, go. Look at Sonny. You know, back in the day, we had Sonny. We knew he was electric, quick, clinical. And I think, most importantly, that is what we're missing. You know, that clinical edge. The Don Solanke chance, you know. I think if we see Harry Kane in that position, he slots that in. You know, that's his bread and butter. Open, probably five yards of space before anyone closes closes him down. Bang, touch out of his feet, bottom corner or top corner, top bin screamer from Harry Class, hey, you know. So, next point, we've got to talk about Big Ange. Big Ange, look, a lot of these fans are on his back and I see why, look. We're a very uh, volatile fan base and some, some sometimes we just can't help it, you know? So, look, Big Ange, look, how I see it is the squad's changed a lot. The squad has changed a hell of a lot. And I think us being so on Ange's throat from the get-go is not actually a good thing. I don't, I don't, I don't think us treating Ange how we usually treat these managers is, is a good thing. And I think it's time for a change. Look, not in the manager, but I think us as fans, we have to think about the long-term picture of what the potential that Ange could bring us. And I think we've got to stick with him. Look, we've got a big European competition coming up. And I think, you know, sacking Ange would be one of the biggest mistakes we could make. And because I do think Ange could do something in Europe, the way we set up, the way we play, you know, if, if a team co uh, comes to us for the first time without playing us ever ever before, there's a bit of that shock factor, you know, they can't really deal with us. I think when teams have played us and played us and played us and worked us out, I think that's when, the, you know, these problems start to arise. So we've got to stick with Ange, my gaffer, and I just cannot believe, I can't even, you know, I was, I was going to start this off by saying, I've gotten over it, but I haven't, you know, I, <laughs> I still, still want to cry, really. <laughs> nah, but, you know, 